All right. So here you see I've made a copy of the heuristic solution that we've already found using the other method and also the heuristic solutions load distance value. I've done that so we can compare the answer of our optimal center of gravity solution. Uh, also I've done that because we had to remove the formulas out of these X and Y coordinate cells for the plant location so that we can use solver properly. So to find the optimal center of gravity we go to tools and use solver and it brings up the dialog box. Um, it's going to be hard to let it see around this box but uh, our objective value is to minimize the total load distance so our objective function goes into the set target cell right here so I'm going to click on that to enter it into the set target cell and as we said we wanted to minimize this and the cells we want to change obviously we want to find the plant location x and y coordinates so we select these two coordinates that represent the x and y of the plant location here and then we don't need any constraints in this case the only thing that we must do is go to options and ensure that we assume that the model is non-negative we haven't included any negative distances here so we want to make sure that it won't minimize the total load distance by just using negative distances so we assume non-negative we click OK we're back at the dialog box and then we push solve and it automatically finds the optimal center of gravity based upon the loads and the straight line distances from the plants to the warehouse plant to the warehouses so there you are they found 6.02 and 8.93 which is about 0.3 away from the heuristic solution and you can see that the total load distance is really close really close also only 0.3 off so maybe if you're talking about great large distances it will make a difference but here it didn't make very much of a difference and there you are the optimal center of gravity solution simply using solver